Hi guys, Karen here with another video, another product review, and this one is a little different. I'm um, reviewing with you guys the Mason Cash Bowls. Um, I really like them. I really like these bowls, um, so I'm just going to get into it from here. Um, so I actually saw the first Mason Cash Bowl on a show on Netflix called Nadia Bakes. Um, she's an English baker, uh, well she's a chef, and you know while she was cooking one day last year, well this time last year when we were all in lockdown, um, I saw a very colorful, it was like a bright spring colored bowl that she was using to mix her ingredients in. And you know I like bowls, and so I wanted to figure out where does she get the bowl from because it didn't move at all while she was mixing. Um, so I started to do my little homework and research um, and I found that the Mason Cash Bowls, these bowls right here, they are, they were, they were, they started production on the Mason Cash Bowls in England in 1901. Um, they are uh, stain resistant and chip resistant um, and I really like them more than that more importantly we, um, the lip around the side is made see here for you if you're a baker cook whatnot you can grip the sides the other uh, thing that I really like about it is if you like me have some carpal tunnel from typing a lot um, this bowl is not only very sturdy because the the weight, they put the weight on the bottom of the bowl so that when you're mixing it doesn't move, but it's light at the top so you can hold it or grab it with just one hand. Or you know when you're holding a bowl and you're trying to scrape out all of the ingredients, you can hold it with one hand and it's not heavy on your arm or on your wrist, um, which was at first, when I first got it, I thought this bowl is really light. But um, that's how they created it in order for um, that to just be easier to bake with and not so cumbersome when you're trying to scrape out the bowl or get in to get out all of your ingredients. Um, it has these really amazing, uh, it has a lot of texture, which I love, and it has a really amazing design. Each bowl. Um, uh, like they all have a series of bowls um, so I yeah, they have a series of bowls um, all different um, types of styles that they create on the outside but all of the bowls mainly have a uh, texture to them and you'll find they all have um, this lip area where you can grip and hold on to the bowl um, they come in all different sizes in all different colors um, the reason why I decided to do it today is because we're embarking on spring, yay, really soon. Like we only have a, what, a week and a half or two weeks left before spring is actually officially here. And the colors are just, you know, while you're in your kitchen, it's just happy and they're joy, like really happy colors um, that are available. These uh, bowls are really difficult to get a hold of. Um, Mason Cash doesn't ship directly to the United States, so um, I was able to find these two bowls. Uh, where did I get these bowls from? Ew. Okay. I was able to find both of these bowls on the Sur La Tabla website. Um, I wanted the red one, but as soon as I saw the red one, it, it was completely sold out and gone. So I'm still on the hunt for the uh, red one. Now you may ask, Karen, how many bowls do you need? That's a good question. Well, as I said before, now that spring is coming up and the garden is starting to grow and become full, um, I realize now that um, all of the seedlings that I planted, um, I have 72 tomato plants and um, we will have 15 to 20 pepper plants and um, and so on and so forth. So needless to say, I like for my vegetables to sit out on the counter so that I that they they get used. 
and I generally place them in bowls and also our bowls are used when we're cooking, baking, etc. So I just thought that this would be a great time if you're looking to order some bowls for spring, for your garden, for gardening, for uh, to help you when you're gardening or to get all of your produce in from the garden, um, then this would be a great bowl to have. As I said, it's very lightweight. The colors are all nice and springy. Today, I'm, and I thought about it today because today I'll be putting out all of our Easter decorations I decorate for every season so so I just wanted to come on really quick share this with you guys I really like these bowls um, check out Nadia bakes you can also see a glimpse of these well not this one but the color most used on Downton Abbey was this and the brown color that has like squirrels it has squirrel patterns on the bowl um, and where else um, You'll see these in a lot of little places, like they just randomly show up in scenes and things. But really, it's more than just like just sitting on your counter. It's a really great bowl if you're like me, you bake a lot, cook a lot. Great bowl to have. Um, very light. Um, I do have carpal tunnel. I do have carpal tunnel um, on my right arm. And so I, I do look for bowls that... Uh, assist me with that that aren't too heavy that I can't just lift them and move them um, so this is a really good bowl and like I said before it's chip and stain resistant and um, unless you just let it drop to the floor you know these things happen oh and um, the average price for this bowl is about 35 to 40 dollars so it's not super expensive it's not as expensive as other bowls um, and yeah and it's it's really huge on the inside too um so i think this holds about um this can hold about uh, six cups of flour so yeah so i just wanted to share that with you guys today i just wanted to share that with you guys today and i hope that um, you found this informative um please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video